Hello there and welcome to Styles Comics in Canon. My name is Mike Burton to take you on this journey and this recording just gives you an idea of what to expect from Styles Comics in Canon, some of the other content I release, where to start with the Star Wars comics, all those kinds of things. This should answer any questions that you may have about this show in general if you are a new listener but if you get to the end of this little recording and you still have any questions feel free to contact me on social media. But the idea of this show is really to put a spotlight on comics without any listeners having to actually pick up a comic in their entire life, be it Star Wars or any other franchise. So I go through the plot details of comics chronologically, and then along the way I give you a bit more information on extended content. So as an idea, I'll go through the plot details of something, and then I'll come to say the species are Rodian, and then I'll give you a bit of information on what a Rodian is, the first Rodian you would have seen, which is likely Greedo from A New Hope, kind of developing those sorts of ideas. So the whole point of this is that you get a good understanding of what's going on in the canon from the comic side, while also getting a better understanding of the wider canon for certain things that reappear. You know, there's planets that pop up, there's things that happen like Operation Cinder gets mentioned in a couple of comics but if you haven't played Star Wars Battlefront 2 you probably wouldn't know what that is. There's also planets that pop up and fun little bits of trivia that I find I do connect things to Legends when it's appropriate, for example, like Baylor Valance, who is a cyborg character who's one of the main characters in the Bounty Hunters run of comics. He actually started off in Legends, so when I introduce him, I talk about him in Legends and things like that. So generally speaking, I focus on the canon, but when there are relevant and interesting connections to Legends, I will then talk about those as well. So long story short, you never have to have picked up a Star Wars comic in your entire life. I try and give you the idea of what's happening in the comics narrative as we go along while giving you extra information. And as of recording this, I have tackled every single canon Marvel comic within sort of six months of the most recently released ones because generally when a ongoing series is happening, it's normally between four and six comic issues before an arc ends. And generally my episodes are of arcs of comics or volumes or however they are kind of put together. So be aware, although I am relatively up to date with the majority of things there are going to be some that I'm not fully up to date with just because I want to tackle those comics when the run is over or when a certain story arc is finished I also do book reviews on this channel. I have tackled every single piece of High Republic content apart from the VR game as well. So I've done book reviews of every book. That's the junior, young adult and adult novels. I've done the short stories, which are in Star Wars Insider. So Starlight Stories recently released a collection of those. I've tackled every batch of comics, the mini series, the one shots, the ongoing series, all of them. So my podcast is a great way to delve into the High Republic as well as the wider canon as well. I do tackle some Dark Horse and IDW publishing comics as well, but my primary focus is on Marvel stuff, then High Republic stuff. Stuff, and then kind of the residue time I have left over that's when I focus more so on the all ages comics I am trying to keep up to date with the Dark Horse stuff but obviously the IDW publishing stuff there's a lot of Star Wars adventures that came out that I haven't yet got around to and I will at some point and to confirm, this podcast, it's not a review podcast, but generally I talk about the positive elements. I am critical of certain things, but this isn't specifically a review podcast. It's meant to open the galaxy up to you lovely listeners. And also there is no barrier to entry. I do recommend people watch the 11 films, obviously the nine episodes plus Rogue One and Solo, just to get a good understanding of where to start. But you don't have to have read any books. You don't have to have seen Clone Wars or Rebels or Andor or even Mandalorian or Kenobi or Book of Boba Fett. You don't have to have seen any piece of Star Wars content outside of the movies. Even if you haven't seen every Every movie you'd probably get a good understanding of what's going on via this podcast but I would recommend watching the 11 movies first and I also do not spoil things so any of the big things that happen in Clone Wars or Rebels or anything like that I do not spoil if I am going to I will give spoiler warnings so no matter what kind of Star Wars fan you are this is a podcast I am specifically making for you this can serve as a refresher if you've read all these comics and things this can serve as a new way into the Star Wars canon if you've not picked up any of the comics or if you want a good place to start and you just want to hear someone talk about the comics and things things, get the idea of the plot details and the kind of things that happen in these comics, and then you can make your mind up of which ones to pick up. This podcast is specifically trying to get everyone and anyone more into the comics. Now, some listeners may be thinking, well, where do I start here? Well, there's a variety of ways that you can start. You can start all the way at episode zero if desired. But at the start of the show, I was kind of finding my footing in things. So the first few episodes, they're not rough, but it's just the depth of my canon knowledge wasn't quite as fruitful as it is right now. Obviously, as time goes on, I just learn more and more things. I do more research. And so I just inevitably know more about the canon. And there's more connections to be made since I started the show a few years ago because there's just more content to connect to. So you can start back at episode zero or one. I would say episode one's all about the Kylo Ren and I have since done an updated version of that because the Knights of Ren have had much more connections to content since then but 
you can start from episode one and just go all the way there. That's a good way to get things chronologically. Or you can go to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash genuine chit chat. That's got all of my episodes of my genuine chit chat podcast on there and all of my conversations with Star Wars people, including authors Kevin Scott and Claudia Gray, comic artist Paolo Vinanelli, and a few other Star Wars personalities too. So you can go on YouTube and then you can go, I want to hear every single episode about Darth Vader. And there's a playlist for Darth Vader. You can do that about Dr. Afra, the main run of Star Wars, some of the crossover events, including War of the Bounty Hunters, Hidden Empire, Crimson Rain and the upcoming Dark Droids as well. Lots of different playlists there. There's a playlist purely for book reviews. There's one purely for the High Republic. So it's a good place to start. Or you can just type into the podcatcher that you are a key word. So like Jedi, for example, and see what comes up there. Or Rebels, things like that. You can type in stuff and just find it wherever you want. Or you can contact me at Genuine Chit Chat on social media. You can literally, anyone can send me a message and just say, hey, new to the show, I just want to hear every weird force story. Do you have any of those? Or I want the craziest stuff that's happened in the canon. Or I want the top tier canon stories please try and guide me and I can I mean I would recommend a great place to start is the 2017 run of Darth Vader comics by Charles Saul I've done episodes on all of those things it's a really great place to start both chronologically because it happens just after Revenge of the Sith but they are also among the best Star Wars comics in my opinion but it depends what you want out of Star Wars comics and depends what you want out of Star Wars in general And then the final things to mention is that this podcast started on the feed of Comics in Motion. It's a collaborative effort by a lot of creatives that I was so honoured to be a part of, and I still am a part of it, to clarify. All of these episodes do get posted onto Comics in Motion, but I found that when I was trying to search for certain episodes to recommend to people and things, that it was quite hard to find them, because you have to go on the feed of Comics in Motion, and then you have to type in Star Wars and comics and things like that, and some of the things just wouldn't show up, even if I literally type out the name of the episode. So that was becoming quite frustrating to me, and I spoke with Dave, the podcast father of Comics in Motion and he was always completely supportive of me starting my own feed. In fact he recommended it about a year or two ago and I didn't do it then and so this feed at the moment sort of early 2023 I'm playing catch up. I'm trying to release many episodes a week just so I can try and catch up with what's being released on the feed of Comics in Motion and on my YouTube at the moment. So for everything fully up to date on YouTube or the feed of Comics in Motion and this feed of Star Wars Comics in Canon in 2023 I am aiming to catch up with myself and then hopefully before the end of the year it will then be every episode that's released on Comics in Motion and my YouTube will also be released on Star Wars Comics and Canon at the right time so that every episode is wherever you want to find it. But I think that's just about everything. I will say, if you want to see some of the images from these comics and whatnot, you can go over to my Instagram, which is Genuine Chit Chat, and you can scroll through them. And I often post pictures of the comics that I tackle on the show when I'm doing like promotional things. So I try and do that every single week. So you get to see a few panels that are quite cool and the covers and whatnot. It's a really good place to start. I think that's relatively everything. I will note that I do Star Wars weekly discussion shows with new episodes of live action that come out like Mandalorian and or and those sorts of things. They're on my YouTube channel and on the feed of Comics in Motion. So go over there if you want to see those. And then just thank you for considering checking out the show. The fact you're listening to this trailer promo thing means that you are somewhat interested. So thank you so much. And uh, yeah, I hope you have a great time in this little corner of the Star Wars galaxy that I've carved out. And uh, any recommendations or suggestions would be appreciated if anyone has any. But without further ado, my friends, thank you so much for listening and may the force be with you.